Good afternoon, everybody. Um, here I am again, watching some videos and stuff. Sorry about my mess. I got my cabinets back in, if you can see up here. Yeah, so it's coming back together. Um, the rest of the solar parts are coming in tomorrow. So I'll get that all going. But um, I want to do a video, uh, and I was watching a video on free energy. Um, uh, drilling into the core of the earth and pulling up all this power. And this guy from Australia put a note in that they had it in Australia. They were heating their pools, they were heating uh, hospitals and all that for free. Just the cost of drilling the hole, which is extremely expensive, but after that it was free. And um, lo and behold, the elitist, the World Economic Forum type people, eliminated it. Got rid of it. You know why? If they cannot meter it, if they cannot charge you for the service, they are not letting you have it. Just like um, I'm watching the Aptara car um, organization, aptara.us, um, that car has 40 miles of range on it, on its own. You never have to plug it in. Um, I like the idea, they may have no choice but to let the idea out, um, but my concern is if they let that car come out into the public, um, what's, what's, what's the ask from the people? Because that freeze, um, I'm looking at it is, I never have to buy gas ever again. I don't have to get oil changes ever again. I don't have to, I, I can move for like, the, the RV life, okay, the um, um, Nomad life, that, that's a perfect car. Put my tent in the trunk, move to where I'm going to go, take the tent out, set it up, and if you have a bad night or whatever, you can't set up a tent. It, it, it's seven feet in the back, you can sleep in there. You go in extreme minimalism, though. But I mean, there's people living in a um, in a smart car. I know a girl who's living in her smart car. She had no choice, no choice. Okay, she was doing it through a church and all that. And um, sad to say, the church um, failed her miserably. Um, I can say that with fact because um, they were doing outreach programs into neighborhoods trying to get people to come to their church under the guise of helping them. But if there was no gain from it eventually, then there was no, and, I, and I'm, I'm dogging it pretty bad. I'm, I'm, I'm nailing the church to the wall. But um, if you um, if you saw Amir's video, Amir, um, I'm going to hack his name too, Amir, Behold Israel. Um, he, he's right on the money. And that one about the um, the rise of the, uh, the last two, the last two, um, um, just slip in my mind right now. I just watched them both last night, but I was pretty, uh, pretty heavily um, alle allergized. The, al the allergy season kind of hit me pretty hard, but I didn't take anything. Um, I could have. I just didn't feel like getting, I had to go to my uh, my other house and go get it. <laughs> I'm living in two places right now. Imagine that I'm homeless. I got two places I got to decide from day to day. Uh, that's insane. Insane what's going on in this world. And in my life for that matter, but um, I just, um, I just, you know, with this whole fiat system and this whole bank control and the devil control and everything, he has a full grasp on every aspect of our lives. We're not free. We never were free. We're never meant to be free. We're going to be either um, a servant of Satan or a servant of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's your two choices in this world. I don't know why anybody's, you know, oh, I refuse both. Well, there is no option three. There isn't one. What are you going to do? You end up in one of two places. So, you know, there's, there's free energy. So even what I'm doing here, it's, there's going to be a cost down the road on this. I'm not going to be able to do this forever. You know, my health might give way. Um, and you, you know damn well the government doesn't like free people being free and not, not being on the hook for them. You know, you got to pay to play in this world. you got to pay to play. You can do it as cheaply as possible. That's why at the end of the day, they look at it. Well, the nomads of the world are actually spending as much money as the homeowners of the world because we're still buying food. I'm buying gas. I'm buying insurance. I'm buying registration. I'm buying license. You know, I mean, I'm spending $100 a month on myself, probably on food. Um, maybe, maybe even 200 a month on food. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a test number now and seeing if I survive my own test. <laughs> Love being my own guinea pig. <laughs> um, but yeah.
but you know these um, you know we're drilling to the middle of the earth you know this energy and you get the sun beaming, beaming down on you and you know we get solar panels and all this technology and all this stuff and and the old the old um the old technologies are fighting with the new technologies and the world governments are going solar they're going solar that's the direction they want to go they don't even care about geothermal they don't care about all that bs they want they want all these panels all over the planet because they have a I'm pretty sure they probably think that if they can keep the sun from touching the earth, they could probably stop the earth from heating up. If they're that loony, you know. I don't have proof on that theory. I'm just, I, I just, I, I, I say these things, and lo and behold, there it is. Okay. For instance, I've been thinking about. I want. I'm gonna put a, a wood stove in this van, um, and but I'm trying to find something like old, some old style thing, right? So. I came across a, 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 a round, it looked like the, the, the width of a bucket, you know, but, but two buckets high. It was, it was uh, three feet tall, but really, really round. And I don't know where the pipe came out. I think it came out the, he said it was a six inch pipe. It was a coal stove, an old, it was off of an old train when they had the coal stoves in the trains in the corner. It was one of them. So I'd have to find a movie to see what the thing actually looks like. The guy had wanted it for, I think, 200 bucks. I'm like, oh, boy, I'd love to get that. And I'm like, and all of a sudden, I was thinking, where would I put it? I said, I'd almost have to get rid of the front seat in my van and, and mount it there and have it go out that way to, to, for, to even have a chance to have it work, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm looking up, I'm watching YouTube videos and um, who were the kid? It was a kid. Um, Modern Self Reliance, I think it is. <laughs> He's got a minivan. And he put it, took the front seat out and he put a wood stove in the front seat, an old wood stove. And I'm like, oh my God, there it is. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is insane. So, um, it's just funny how it, th this thing is not listening, not at all. You know, it doesn't listen to nothing. It's just in the room in here that you're saying. But um, this kid did it from Gus. Mind himself for lines, I think he's from Canada. He's in all Greta, but he, he, he did a minivan um, thing. He did, he did a, he's going to do some, uh, um, some, uh, Game camping or whatever, but uh, it's just kind of funny. But yeah, back to I'm um, trying not to put my finger in the phone. Um, back to uh, oh, and I got I, I got to add a friend to all the, my pet story of last. I got three dogs, twelve cats, and a goose with the iron thing on his head. I think he wants to be. I think he's trying to be a duck. I don't know. He's an old guy, but yeah, he um, he hangs out in my van every day. I just had to had to de goose the um. <clears throat> the porch if you will today because uh, he's been hanging around a lot but um i don't know it's, it's everybody's trying to was trying to get their angle on this thing before it goes bad it's already bad it, you're already not going to get your angle go live a happy life stop worrying about all the details of it you know what i mean you know but the bible does say we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna we're kind of gonna we didn't use the word grovel we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna struggle through it it's not going to be easy because we we took over an imperfect creation that was um sorry i don't know why i still hang i thought it was touching something it's live so i don't really want it touching anything um you know we we really have picked up on how we can screw ourselves over at this point you know we really aren't good at going way over um I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's just, it's just, I, I just see, I just sense stuff a certain way that, um, you know, the book of Ecclesiastes again, you know, um, and actually, um, I mean, I've talked about, um, he did the book of Isaiah on the last one, um, maybe the one before, I think I got him backwards, but, um, when he did the book of Isaiah, when he, when he read out of that book, he was, he was at the, um, he was at the, um, what they used to call, um, the, uh, uh, Satan's, uh, gate or whatever in, uh, in, uh, Israel, um, but he, he had stated that, you know, the, the whole verses of uh, God hates our feast days, God hates our, our our prayers, God hates everything that we're doing that takes over what his son did. His son did it all. There's nothing we can do for ourselves. We are helpless and hopeless unless we accept Jesus Christ. We do our day-to-day -day stuff, you know. And you know whatever that is but don't 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 put your heart and soul in your earthly things you know put your heart and soul in Jesus Christ that he's gonna get you through it so 
I'm I'm getting through it. I mean, luckily I'm I'm able to stay here. You know, um, for how much longer I don't know. I've been here I'm going on six months. It's been a long time. I've been there. Just, I gotta move on. I definitely gotta get out of here. Um, but I, you know, I kind of promised the, the family up in Maine that I would go visit them, and I, I want to do that. So I'm gonna, I'm, that's going to be my first camping. Is going to be up in Maine, I think. It's close enough to here in case I have a, a, um, a situation with the van. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not quite ready for. Uh, um, I'm not quite ready to trust the van yet. Um, it, it's an older one. It's been doing good. Hasn't been doing bad. It's been. I mean, I just, I just went to, um, I just did a three-hour round trip, all highway driving, um, and it did very well for it. So, um, but the motor's still struggling, you know. Um, it, it, it's, it's electronics, you know. It's, uh, it's got a, got a, not a valve. Um, the motor itself is good. Um, the drivetrain itself is good. Although I did lose a bracket on my, uh, my, um, my waste tanks, my gray water, my black water tank, the bracket decided to let go. I'm glad I did it in the parking lot because I, unfortunately I just dropped it up for now. I can't get under the van, it's too low to the ground. Um, I was surprised how low it was to the ground, I thought it was higher than that. But, um, so I gotta, um, I'm gonna have to either get it to a garage, have them pull that off, but now that's gonna leave the, the, the tanks are empty, I'm never gonna use them. So I'm not worried about weight in the tanks. I've already diverted everything out of them, so. And I'm only using it just for just just for rinsing water. I'm not doing anything else with it, but just um, it's funny when I do my dishes, right? This is how I do my dishes, and this is where I'm using bread. Um, I'll make a salad. I got a big bowl that I like making my salad in, um, which I'll switch to a metal bowl eventually. But um, uh, I um, I'll take the bread, I'll, I'll slice the bread, and I'll wipe down the whole uh, thing. You can call it gross or not, I don't care. This is what I'm doing. Um, that way, it's it's less waste material going down the sink not for the purpose of I want to be green or anything like that I don't want food landing outside my outside my vehicle so critters can come up in the night and eat you know so if I can eliminate 90 to 100 percent of that you know 90 but if I can get 95 percent of that I mean I'll just wipe it down with a with a with a um piece of bread and I'm gonna have bread with myself who, who doesn't have croutons itself I just switch it to bread not a big deal you know I am not um I'm not a fan of glamour of any kind in this world. I'm really not. I mean, the, 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 and it, 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 if any girl decides wants to sign up with me, um, I, I am pathetically basic. I have no interest in in anything that that's not necessary. Or the looks. Oh, look at me. I'm, I no, that's not me. I will never be that. I never was that. Um, I was I was fitted in. I was tried to be fitted into that. You know. Um, um, Kevin James on uh, Zookeeper, I watched that last night, and um, he, he tried becoming something he's not for a girl that he, and he said, he goes, I was in love with, the, I, I was obsessing over a girl for five years after she dumped me that I wasn't even in love with, and all the time, he was spending time with that girl that he ended up uh, going out with, and because um, it's comfortability, you don't even realize how comfortable you are with somebody, you don't even realize it, you know, that's how you're going to be in relationships, that you just want to be with that person and whatever. I don't want you signing up to my bullshit. You know what I mean? Because it is. I know what I'm doing isn't a, a popular thing, but I don't think a sticks and bricks is a, a sticks and bricks without the freaking cost. Fine, sign me up. I don't want the cost. This van's costing me nothing. You know, when when it starts costing me something, that's when I have to move on. You know, I've got no choice in that. Um, because I just get limited funds, and I'm, I mean, I've been going good on the. I'm, I just spent four grand on a solar system, 500 amp hour batteries. I hope I picked the right batteries. I, I want these batteries to work. I don't want the lithiums. I don't want the acids or the um, the gel acid, whatever you call that. I hate the name. I'm, I've been so out of the battery business, but I went with the silica salt batteries because I like the, I like the technology. Um, is it as efficient? I don't care about efficiency. What I care about is what it does after the, its life is over. Is it going to be a chemical that we're going to deal with after? All the lithium guys, oh, whoa, there's no issue with lithium. Was never, there was never an issue with nuclear. Nuclear was never a problem until it became a problem. You know what I mean? We're not looking at the whole picture, all of us. Even the RV world, you're not looking at the whole picture. Look at the whole picture. Look at what happens when you have to give the battery back. What are they going to do with it? And that may cost you money eventually to get rid of those batteries. Keep that in mind. 
it might cost you some money to, to dispose of those batteries. They're probably going to charge as much as you bought them for to dispose of them. We don't know that yet. They didn't come up with that yet. But that day's coming, you know, because um, you can't just throw that technology away. Look at um, um, the uh, uh, Tesla cars. The batteries, when they uh, go out of date, there's actually a, a company... I don't know where they are, but I, I, I feel a video now, but um, it's out there that they take those old batteries and they put them in containers and they're using them for, for, uh, in the solar fields to, to retain, because they don't have a long, I guess they can't hold the, um, they can't hold their storage as much anymore. On the solar fields, the daytime storage is used for the overnight, so it works out perfect. It, by the time, by time they lose their, their energy holding, well, the system depleted it anyway, so it works out great. And then they get, um, let's just say the battery's got um, a 30-year lifespan on them. Uh, I, think, I think they got a 12-year lifespan on them. Let's just, just, just go with these numbers, okay? Let's just say it's a 30-year lifespan, um, and after 15 years, they're at half power. Well, at one, and they're not good for the cars anymore. They, they take them out, $26,000 for a new battery pack. And they they sell them off to these other these these um, other companies, and they take it to the next 15 years. We're st we we just kicked the can down the road. Yes, we're using them, but eventually we're going to have a lithium issue. Where they're going to put it? Is the tech can the technology go back in the ground as it came out? I can't see why not, but for some reason, once the human touches it, we screw it all up for a worse scenario at the at the other end. You know, the nuclear is here. Nuclear's always been on this planet. The, 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 the sun is a nuclear explosion going on. It's mag magnetically contained. Why can't we do the same thing here? Make a nuclear explosion so it, it does its thing and stays magnetically contained. Why not? You know? If it, again, the book of Ecclesiastes, nothing new under the sun. As God created the system, we're just here to learn how he created the system. That's the, unique, the, the uniqueness of the human. We, he, he, allows us to learn what he did by figuring it out he's not being a ball buster he wants us to learn this stuff you know what i mean and, and but with the fall of the humans with, with adam and eve it made it more difficult he didn't make it more difficult we made it more difficult he told us don't eat from that tree well we wanted something we couldn't have so we had we had greed we had pride we had all that stuff in us it just amped it up instead of it being a minor like it would say uh you got to take a, um 11 positives 11 to 15 positives to offset a negative comment made to you well i think before the fall we had it was one positive to eliminate the 11 negatives there was still that there was still that factor in our lives until we proved ourselves with the lord you know um and my theories again i'm not this is not biblical stuff I'm just I'm just coming up with an observation on um, on how you know, these common denominators stuff. So um, that's just what I think, anyways. But um, so oh, I gotta show you a light I did. See this light over here that I did um, a couple weeks back. Um, that you, know, you just touch it on off, and I still got it not finished off. I finished one last night. And I'll show you it right now. I don't know if the charger's gonna go. Wow, let me do this this way. Sorry about the um losing me on this but here it is right here well i'm going tippy watching me on camera did it right here this is the bolt that i had to put the um through through the roof um for my um i'm going to hook up the solo because they're, they're a little bigger than what i wanted so um uh, let me get myself in this this is just a um a, um curtain i'm gonna i'm just thinking about i might hang them in here instead um but yeah watch Boop. you just touch it and it's off and it's on and it's off this one over here do i have one yeah this one the battery's burnt the, the the bulb was burnt on it but at night when you're fidgeting around you're half asleep you go use oh which oh, where's, where's the button i can just touch it and done you know what i mean <laughs> last night i i hit that one with my toe <laughs> touch it with my toe and it went on and off i'm like this is cool you know so uh, i got this light too i don't like it but i might uh it works and doesn't work so i think there's a short in it somewhere but i'm, I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm going to put one of these in probably underneath instead because I can just put it and just put it where it won't be in the way, you know. Um, then I got this light here. I may keep this light because it kind of kind of works good. 
Um, but if it's, a, if it's a big energy draw, I'll, I'll remove it. But um, yeah, so here's my view of the cabinets again. So they're all in, they're all in, they're all operational. This one I have to leave out because um, the solar is going to come in over here somewhere. I got to go as far this way. Oh boy. I got to figure it out because I got to put them on. Um, and I got to see where all the, uh, all the tail, I may have to put two holes here. I may just have to put two holes here. Yeah, I, may I may have no choice on that. Um, three eighths holes, bring the wires in here. Then I got to sneak it down past this one, down the back of the wall, because everything's going to go in here. I made this cabinet. Let me get up there. Made this cabinet, so I'm going to have my, um, the thing to run the 120, whatever that's called. The solar charge is going to be here. I'll probably put that on this wall. I might even hang the um, the 120 on top of here so I can just plug stuff in as I need it, you know? Um, that's just how I, I run stuff. I just, I don't want to get into, I got the plumbing right there. I got to, I got to close it. I got to put a board over that and just forget about that. But um, the air conditioner is going to work in the same way as the, um, the way the fridge was, the way the ventilation on the fridge was, where that was just um, static. Um, static air movement it was just moving based on um, there were no fans on the fridge or nothing this is gonna have a blower in it so it's gonna blow straight out that vent that's right directly behind it and then it's got the upper vent to help with air movement so it should work it either work or it won't it's really six of one half dozen the other so um then i'll put this cabinet back in i should be able to avoid affecting this cabinet at all that's what i'm hoping to do i hope i'm hoping they're not even i don't want any wires inside this cabinet I'll put them up behind it because if you look right here there's, there's room in here I can I can stick my my whole hand in here past the past the knuckles you know so I can I can stuff the wiring in here up inside this thing I can tape it all in place that can fit that cabinet back up and it'll be fine now did you see that I wasn't watching but uh, yeah so I can stick my hand in here you know I get this hold back with the insulation I'll squish it I mean they did a crappy job with this well and do a crappy job with the insulation I had pets in here not not when I had it, but um, there were pets in here from when uh, the previous owners or whatever. I found the holes and they're all they're all taped up. Um, but yeah, so this is a uh, full blown mess. I still don't know what to do with um, these three skylights. I'm not sure if I want to go back original with them, or if I want to have somebody make me a big um, a, uh, like, make it look like one big one big light up there. You know what I mean? And, and glue it in, glue it in like the windshields are done. Um, I'm kind of liking that idea a lot better because they, they, they embedded these into, so it's not sitting above, so it, it really allows the water to come in and sit and hang around and, and see how much the gasket shrank. I mean, 28 years later, this is what they do. So if I can do some kind of a windshield urethane that doesn't do that, um, I'd be better off for it, you know, so I don't know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them alone, I'm probably gonna do the, um, that, um, Internabond tape on there, because apparently I have a lot of extra tape now I'm not gonna be using, I'll probably Internabond that for now, take all his, his old gasket material off, the, it, it looks horrible up there, and they get hot, these windows get hot, it's like, wow, you know what I mean, it's like, touching them, they, it's like, they are like, almost, I can't even hold on to them, so I don't know if I want to have, um, and they're cracking, I can hear them cracking because they're, they're old. I mean, this crack is getting bigger by the day. I'm not even moving around. So they've had it, you know. They, they're getting heated up every, every every day, you know, and shrinking. They, they just, uh, whatever the material is, um, it's XC. Exiglass. Exiglass. Acrylic. Do. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Exit glass acrylic. So that's what it is. Oh, it must be, it must be a P on that. So it must be plexiglass. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it must be plexiglass. Um, you know, with an R. Acry pl acry acrylic plexiglass. So, um, yeah, it did its job, but I think it's, I think it's over, you know, um, matter of time on those. But, all right, that's going to be, I just wanted to say that about the, um, Everybody's trying to figure out this system. This system's about to be over. You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. There's no way this can go on for much longer. 
just 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 in practical terms i mean you you got we are way past the tower of babel we are way past uh noah's ark we are way past every change that has happened in this in this world since man's been put on it and we, we think tomorrow's gonna be a better day what are we stupid i mean come on we're not getting better we're getting worse for it because if you want to free the people then free the people but nobody's talking about freeing the people they talk about it to get us on the hook for it then they drag us down the road and say oh we can't do it anymore by that time you spent 30 years thinking they had your back yeah they had your back your pants down you bent over they had you they had you in the back you know sorry i i'm gonna i'm crude but you know that that's just the sad fact of it you know i'm not I'm not being nice about it Jesus wasn't nice about it. He 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 built he created a whip at the beginning of the ministry and the end of his ministry, and he called the devil all kinds of names. That they cleaned up severely in the Bible. I'm pretty sure Jesus let him have it. You know, he let him have it just as he was without sinning. I'm not saying that he swore. I'm not saying that, but you know, a viper and a whatever else he used. What do we call him? It's like, come on, it's like. They weren't, those weren't nice words back in the day. But telling the truth is never a sin, you know? Um, and how you tell the truth isn't necessarily a sin. It's it's when you're purposefully being that way about it. You know, sometimes there's only one word that can work to get the point across, you know? But um, I, I don't really go with that. I'm just rambling at this point. But um, just, you know, you know, make Jesus Christ your... Um, you're one and all and everything and um just you, you gotta you gotta hang on you gotta hang on till the end we endure to the end you know whether we like it or not you know the um the reason why the, the christian is poor if he's thinking right because he knows the game behind the false system this is a false system that we're playing in yeah i gotta buy food i gotta buy this i gotta buy that but i don't need a bentley i don't need a lamborghini I don't need a four-legged horse. I don't need, 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 need to be me. I just need food for the day. I just need some gas. Registration, license, so I can move around a little bit. You know, my big expense is about to be over, hopefully. You know, I don't want to get into another vehicle right now. I like this one, and I want this one to work out for me. Um, I'm, praying, I'm praying for that, that this just works out. I'm, it's okay. It's, it's kind of running rich and not right but as long as it's not going to hurt it you know um but i'm going to move around just less to uh less to just um to um oh, there's a good spot but i gotta shut it down anyways but um you know i just gotta uh just want to keep it simple right now you know i want to get out to the desert this winter and um hang out with some with some people you know in in this world of um uh, nomadic living and um i just want to uh, give it a full Give it a full effort, you know. Um, I said I had to. I had to rebuild. I had to restructure my whole life. Um, now that my late wife is gone, and my ex-wife is still my ex-wife, um, everything, once again, that I own between those two relationships will be gone, except for my two daughters, and that's it. So out of two relationships, all I have is my two daughters. And, that, and that's great, you know, I, I love those two girls, they're, they're great, you know, but, um, you know, they got their lives, they're starting to get going on and stuff, so they got to do their thing, and, um, I'll come back up in the spring, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing another winter down here, I'll, up here, that was, that was rough, I mean, granted, I had, you know, I had heat, I had everything I needed, but it was kind of like, I was learning the heat, I was learning the, uh, I was learning all the, um, <laughs> the, the I, I, I definitely did a rough winter on being, there's no doubt about it, you know. Um, but I, um, I think I only slept in the house one night. I'm gonna do that. I would have to look at that. That's about. Why did I do that? I should not have done that. Oh, I think I was banging it. Oh yeah, I, I did it. Okay, it was me. What else is new? Um, <laughs> but um. Yeah, it was a um, it was a tough winter. I mean, I was running that split unit, and um, they're okay, but they they definitely uh, they're definitely gonna use an average of a lot of energy. They're constantly running, you know. 
So, um, I don't know. My, my take on it is I won't go that route again. Um, if you're, if you're above, if you're safely above freezing, worst case scenario, the twenties, um, they'll, they'll do okay. But in, they got to constantly run on an RV because you, you got the wind blowing underneath and all around this thing where a house, at least it's, there's nothing blowing underneath it, you know, but, um, I had a few friends, even my brother, he's at HVAC, he says, hey, he goes, those things, they're all selling like they're working, he goes, but they're not, they're, they're not able to handle when it gets too cold. So, most of the time they'll work, but you do need a, and they recommend it, you get a second source of heat, just in case. So you put some electric baseball heat in to just survive the, it's electric is electric. You know, electric is the most efficient um, energy usage right now, as of, as of right now. Um, Solar is actually not that efficient, believe it or not. But but solar, what it allows is freedom from the grid. Then you gotta you gotta manage your stuff with it. You know that's really what you gotta understand. You gotta manage your you gotta manage your um, um, energy consumption. Um, you know right now today's a perfect day. Van's in full sun, but I got the windows open and the breeze is perfect coming through here. It really is a perfect breeze going through, and it's very, very comfortable, you know. So um, that's it. I got to go. I got to put my awning up. All right. Have a great day.